Tommy Burns was always good at carving out chances. The passing of the years has not affected his passing ability. It deserved a better finish from Ali Mitchell on this occasion. Squandering chances does nothing for your promotion challenge, but Killy didn't learn their lesson. A good passing move ending with Sean McSkimming firing wildly over the top. St Mirren have an outside chance of promotion themselves. Their best effort of the first half came when John Hewitt tried a snapshot, which was saved by Bobby Geddes. And from his clearance, Kilmarnock went up the park and scored. McSkimming the central figure, making ground down the left and crossing for Ali Mitchell to make it 1-0. Killy then went in search of a second, George McCluskey combining with Burns and McSkimming to set up Mitchell again, but it wasn't to be, the volley on the turn a bit too adventurous. St Mirren had brought on Eddie Gallagher at half time, and it was his substitute who got the equaliser, his diving header at the near post beating Geddes. Killy were still making chances and wasting them. The ball eventually worked to the unmarked Dougald McCarrison here. But into the crowd it went. Then St Mirren were almost gifted the lead. There was no real pressure on Montgomery, but he took his eye off the ball and had Geddes scrambling. And then the moment which led to St Mirren's winner, Craig Patterson conceding a free kick for climbing on Barry Lavetti. He didn't like the decision, but John Hewitt did, and he promptly made the most of it. For the second week running, Saints had come back from a goal down to take the lead, but they almost then threw it away. Killy attacking from the restart, Bobby Williamson hitting the side netting after running clear of Les Fridge. Killy's frustration was becoming clear and it boiled over when Hewitt took the heels from Mitchell and both ended up in the boot. The last chance of this match fell to St Mirren. Barry Lavetti running through and going alone but Geddes made the save and it finished 2-1 St Mirren. <laughs>